We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. It's your boy, Trevy Boy. Oh nah, I'm playing. It's your boy, Trevy Boy, man. I'm back with another video, Troops, man. And so, look, I'm excited. I got a little bit, you know, extra pump in my step because I ain't made no video in a minute. Like, I ain't been consistent in a minute. I know that, you know, don't get the dog in me, man. You know, everybody make mistakes. But look, I got something special for y'all today. I got a blind date. Two people. Two good looking people. I don't really care about like calling the dude good looking, but you know I'm being nice. It's my nigga though. And a beautiful young lady, man. We're gonna see if Trevi Boy can help somebody find love. And by somebody, I think y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm, 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 I'm cute. cute. I'm cute. Who you is, man? I think they know you, but who you is? The one and only undefeated. <sighs> hey, so 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 tell me last time, man, did I, was I successful in helping you find love? No. I did bad. You trust me today? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Your girl waiting downstairs. I gotta go get her. All right, man. We gotta blindfold you up, though, gang. Man, stop giving me fucking shirts. We ain't got blindfolds, bro. I'm sorry. I didn't stop at the blindfold store before I got here. Cheap ass motherfucker. Give me a blindfold. <laughs> Yo, what? He got my big ass pounds of fucking weed. Wait, whatever. Oh, yeah, yo, we on some hood shit, man. Oh, yeah, he talking about, man, my games, bro. I'm getting big out here, man. I'm getting big out here, man. Come on. Fucking about blind Oh. We're gonna cut that part out. <laughs> Solid. But let me go get your shorty. Say less. Blind man. Just stay there, boy. You got it? Yeah. You can see me? No. You sure? Bro, I can't see you. <laughs> Bro, move, bro. Oh, I can hear you still right here. All right, man. Let me go get your shorty. Nigga, I can tell you didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know you'll see that, bro. Okay, you probably want to sit down, bro. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right man. We'll be back shortly. All right, gang. <laughs> all right, it's recording. So anything you do. What's your name? Madison. Okay, Madison, can I get a 360 real quick? Okay, she came baggy sweatpants with the Yeezy slot slight dress. Toes matching the shirt. Stop. Okay, you got a different type of style though. All right then. All right, so you looking for like, you you looking for a dude or not? Nah, you just, you know, seeing where it go? Uh, not really, I'm just here. Oh, all right. You got any expectations? Uh, for him to be funny. If he ain't funny, you can't, you can't mess with him? I don't know. Is height a thing or not? Nah? I, um, I'm only 5'3", it doesn't really matter. Yeah, she 5'3", y'all, I can see it on there. <laughs> All right, so this your blindfold right here. So I'm gonna let you get yourself together because you know I ain't trying to mess your hair up and have you swinging at me or nothing. It's a blindfold? I mean, well, it's a bandana, so. look kind of used. You said it look kind of used? Yeah. It just, just came out the laundry, here, here, smell it. If you don't smell I'm gain on it, it, if you don't smell gain on it, yeah, you can say you ain't, you don't want to use it. I can't even, my head's too small. I mean, too big. All right, man. Don't say your names. I thought or... he was behind me. No, no, no. He, him in front of you. Him he in front of you. Can see me? No, he can't see you. Yeah, I can see you. No, he can't see you. I can. You lying? You lying? Starting off? No, I'm joking. I can't see you. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So, hey, by the voices, do, do y'all sound sexy to each other? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You sound familiar. Oh, shit. Uh, go. Well, uh, you, you know her? Your laugh sounds familiar. What's her name? What's her name? Madison. No, I don't know Madison. What's your name? I know Madison, but like, she black as shit. Wait, why? Are you? Well, I guess y'all can exchange names. My name is Chris. I probably where you from? Bedford, where you from? Yeah, no, I'm from Cleveland. Y'all speak up a little bit, man. My bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh -huh. All right, so uh, we're going to start with Madison. What you uh, look for in a dude? Uh, you got to have a great sense of humor. You got to be generous. You got to think of others for yourself. And you got to be a reflection of me. That's what I look for. What's a reflection of you? Sweet, nigga. 
Um. That's a money bag, yo, type shit. You listen like, to bread bag? Bread bag. You listen to money bag? No. I was gonna say, if this was my day, I, I, you won in my book. But you don't listen to money bag, it's cool. Alright, go ahead. You gotta go. <laughs> um. A reflection of me, like, you gotta, I don't know, you gotta, like, balance my personality. Like, Ooh. I'm kind of shy and I'm not really, like, outspoken. So to, like, find a balance to that and find somebody who's outgoing and, like, really brings it out of me, that's what I look forward to. Are you, can, can you bring the best out of her? I mean, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright, what about you, Splashy? What you what you look for in a in a woman? I don't know, somebody that's like I guess like I just said, like balance me out because I do like to go out a lot. So like I need somebody to, like be like, hey, Chris, we stand in the house today. But no, um somebody like love to try new things, like I don't know, I want somebody that's fun, kick it, like you know. Okay. You like to kick it, Madison? I'm more of a homebody, but Okay, okay, so we got a homebody and we got somebody who like to kick it, but he wants you to tell him, sit your ass down in the house. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wants. You think you'll be able to tell him to sit his ass down somewhere, though? Definitely. Oh. Tell him to sit his ass down. Go ahead, take charge. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I just met him. <laughs> <laughs> Madison, what's, what's your uh, ideal perfect date? Um, my ideal perfect date, I guess, would be uh, something that he would plan to see where his mind is at and what he likes to do first. Uh, it would just help me get like a better read on who he is as a person. So whether it's like he wants to go to the park, he wants to like stay and watch a movie, you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. What would you plan for a date, Chris? See, that's gonna backfire on her. That's gonna backfire on her. Right, we my, need to my date is gonna go based off of what she likes to do. Oh, okay. I mean, technically, that's cool though because that goes along with getting to know her. So, like, say she told you she like gummy bears and she like long walks in the park, but she only like doing that type of shit at night. Then that's you ain't gonna do that in Cleveland. You gonna book a flight and send her to Miami. <laughs> okay. Just get paint a picture. Paint a picture. Uh, if you didn't know what she like, you I'm gonna no. So that's my thing. We text or whatever. We talk. I'm gonna be like, what type of stuff you into? Like. What type of stuff you into, Madison? Um, I like to eat. I'm. <laughs> oh, scares. I'm a real big eater. Uh, I like to shop. Uh, I like driving around. Honestly, I like seeing new things. I could look at y'all right now. Y'all got a lot in common, and y'all don't even know it. How we got a lot in common? I'm listening. Boy, if you don't. I can't tell y'all, but I mean, y'all got a lot in common. You're a terrible wing man. You supposed to be my man. Oh, <laughs> y'all both got slides on. What kind of slides you got on? Oh my god. Oh, like what kind of slides you got on? I got on some Nike flops. Oh, okay. No, I'm not. I got on some easy slides. She got on some too, don't she? What you got on, Madison? I got some uh, beat Adidas. You got on beat Adidas? No. Yeah, I got it from the, See, the thrift my store. Off. Stop the cow. <laughs> Before I came here. See, that's how I know she lying. No, she, got, she got on some easy slides. No, nah, she got on beat Adidas. Just like she said, I ain't here to, you know, stomp on nobody's party. Hmm? Her toes don't look suckable. <laughs> Stop. Ew, I mean, I'm not really in the mood. No, it's just a joke. Dang, girl. Hold up, because you do that. Be honest. Do you suck toes? Huh? You suck toes? Huh? You suck toes? Huh? I think you really trying to fuck with me. <laughs> wait, wait, you, ain't in, you ain't in all that nasty shit? Hold on, y'all. So you're not into stuff like that? No. So, really. oh dang, so at least you know, you, you can't really push push the envelope too much with her if y'all, you know, make it, it. It's comfortability. Oh, so you just gotta be comfortable. You can't just pop that toe in your mouth, bruh. I mean, I would never do that. Like, that's kind of gross to me. But like... I feel it. What you say, my toe? I don't know. Don't ask. Don't do that. Brad, you like, you get your toes up? <laughs> I don't listen. I don't really like my feet being touched by my girl. Like, but you know, that's me. Everybody ain't me. No. Yeah, I don't like getting my feet touched. Okay, okay. Like, I'm on my feet all day, you know what I mean? I, I mean, I guess I'm on my feet all day, too. You want your toes up? Yeah, boy, I'll be. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I want my toes sucked. I'm not saying that because that sounds very gay. How if I'm a girl? Oh my god! I guess that's just, that's just me. Yeah, I'm not saying I want my toes sucked. I'm just saying I'm not saying I want my toes sucked. 
that just sounds very, very gay. I don't, I, I don't want my toes stuck. I'll get my feet rubbed. Well, that's different. That's different. See, y'all, y'all, some, y'all are different. I can't really get my feet touched. I went to Chinese people, and you know, I got like a pedicure, and like I can't really deal with the scrubbing part at the bottom, so I just don't get that. Done. It tickle. I don't like that. Bruh, get your, listen to me. Go get your hands and feet done, bro. Like, I get my hands done, but I can get yes. my feet done. And my feet look cool. Girls love that too. Hey, you you like when a dude got his hands and feet done? Uh, it's cool. I like it, but it's not necessary. It's not she like she if you got some rough hands she don't care is that what you're saying yeah it shows you work hard yeah you work hard okay so madison what's, what's your uh biggest turn off um <laughs> it's gonna sound kind of like self-centered but like if you don't got a haircut if your style's not together then that is a big turn off to me um because just how you present yourself really just makes first impressions and if you're not really trying, then it kind of shows, you know, how you are as a person. Like, you're not going to try hard. That's how I see it, anyways. Hey, that makes perfect sense. So, question, 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 question. Yeah. So, like, we're going to just say, like, sometimes, like, our winter months. Or just say, like, you just don't. If your job doesn't require you to have a haircut, like, mine does, though. But, like, if your job doesn't require you to, like, not have a haircut, like, you just kind of, like, bum it out. It's going to be a deal breaker because you don't have a haircut. It's not like if it's been like two weeks or something, you're like, dang, I need a haircut. Like, that's one thing. But if you're going like months and you just like don't care, you don't care about your appearance, like, people see you every day, you know what I mean? All right, so, prime example, we're gonna say like COVID times. Remember when everybody just was like, but I don't, we're not in COVID times. No, I'm just saying, like, if, so if he had a haircut, so if he just didn't have a haircut, you're gonna really be that upset with him. I mean, I wouldn't be upset, but I'd be turned off. Like, I wouldn't be like, damn, bitch, like, go get a haircut. But I'd be like... Yes, you would. Like, i get my hair done. You know what I'm saying? How often? I put the time in. How often? Um, I just got this done Monday, and then the last time was, like, two weeks ago. So, this, all right, so this is my question. Like, what do you get to her? Like, is it natural, sewing, braids, or is it pronto, or whatever? Hold on. What do you think my race is? Nigga! Don't know. <laughs> okay. She must not be black. What's your race? <laughs> uh, I'm mixed. With what? Hold on. I'm half black, half white. Oh, we got a new place cookie. Dude, so <laughs> Uh, no, I got a silk press in. I don't know what that is, but that's on. I've heard girls talk about that. That shit's serious. All right, she got a silk press. What you got? Me? Yeah. I got the uh, three weeks no cut. Uh, then you had a cut in three weeks? No, it's more like an hour ago. I had a cut. Now you should have told her you ain't got no cut, so when she <laughs> take the blindfold off, she's like, God damn, Link got cut. But you got waves? No. Okay. Hold on, what's wrong with waves? Nothing. You like waves better? Yeah, that's like the best haircut you can have. Stop it. Stop it. Dang, stop it. Okay, okay. So, oh, Spot, I didn't ask you, uh, Chris, what's your, uh, what's your biggest turn on, bro? A girl who not motivated. Hmm. Like... What does that look like? You know, paint a picture, you know? Like somebody who just like, I hate them girls that just be like, I don't know how I said, I like to go out and stuff, like girls who just really don't care. Like all they do is go out, like no job for real, like no car, like they not motivated. Like if you ask them where you see yourself in a couple of years, like they don't have an answer. Okay, final question. Uh-huh. Madison. Yes. If Chris was upset, how would you, how would you like, you know, handle that situation? Or no, or no, actually, let's change that up. If you were upset in a situation between you and Chris, how would you handle it? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm uh, the type of person that kind of like needs space. I can't really like get into an argument just because I know like in arguments, uh, a lot of people don't think before they say, I'm going for stalling. Yeah. She retired. She retired. She <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna just hold it. Okay, what was I saying? Um. You need space. Yeah, I'm the type of person that really needs space and like time to think and reflect. I can't really get into it unless like you did some grimy shit, like you cheated. Even then, I need like time and space to myself. Especially since I've been independent for like so long. So I got a question. When was, when was the last time you was in a relationship? 
Um, probably like the beginning of my senior year of high school. Now, how long was y'all together? Uh, five months. What's your longest relationship? <laughs> five months. Oh my god. Well, well, uh, if y'all was having a disagreement, mm -hmm. how would you handle it if you was upset? Oh, I'm upset? Yeah. I ain't gonna cop with you. I found out I messed up, then I'm gonna chase after her. And I found out if she messed up, then like I'm gonna kinda expect her to like come come like handle that one. That's fair. But I feel like majority of the times I feel like the guy's always the one that has to, even if they weren't the ones that messed up, they gotta be the ones to fix it. Okay. Okay, okay, for sure. One Good more answer. I I got one more question, actually. Mm -hmm. So Madison. From judging by his voice, how would you rate Chris on the scale from one to ten? <laughs> um, you need him to say some some smooth shit. Hey, say uh, put some butter on this biscuit, baby. Say that. That's so weird. Put some butter on this biscuit, baby. I feel like your voice got deep. <laughs> <laughs> I would just say I rate him probably like an eight, seven. I mean, I'm ugly as fuck. An eight or a seven? Yeah. But I mean. If she tell you a seven, right? That you, really means you seven's see, average. You'll see plus. Who the fuck? I wouldn't take that, but exactly. I mean, you know, I ain't on the date. Hey, but you know, C's do still pass tests, but no. <laughs> C's pass tests, but they don't get on the fridge. You, you feel me? Oh! Hey, bro. Dude. You don't get hung up on the fridge. Hey, no, you know, man, C's get degrees. That's all that matters, man. That's true. Man, okay, okay. So judging off Madison's voice, what would you rate her now? Now she a two. Yeah. Cause she played with like I'm out of here. I hate it here. That's kind of biased though. <laughs> you, you like you like. Uh, oh wait, one more thing. You you got a height requirement, Madison? You gotta be six five. <laughs> Let me. Hey, hey I'm a, I'm a head out. <laughs> I'm taller than you. Me? Yeah. Five three. You want a nigga to six five? Oh my, bro, she want one. Do you know five ten to six five to you? <laughs> All right, y'all. So look, this is about to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm about to walk out of here. When y'all hear that door shut, you can remove your blindfolds, okay? You keep it the camera in here? Hell yeah. But, okay. But look, when, as soon as you hear the door shut, take it off. Don't take it off before you hear that door shut, alright? Or it's cheap. Y'all about to find out who you curving or who you splurging on. The door is open. Now it's closed. So, uh, so you be taking dudes on dates? Uh, Damn, it's bright now. I haven't been on a date in a minute. What's that minute? Since like November. I said it's been a minute. I have seen you somewhere before. You have. Where? I don't know. But now you do look familiar. You don't look how I expected. This isn't what this is not what I expected. What did you expect me to look like? You said you were a big dude. I'm thinking you're like I never said I was a big dude. Yeah, you said you're caving into the bucket. I am caving into the bucket. Literally. But I'm saying I'm thinking like you're like a bigger dude. You got a solid bucket, I got a loose bucket. How am I supposed to know if I'm blindfolded? I'm just saying, like. I didn't know. Hold on, I got a haircut though, so what's wrong with my haircut? Nothing wrong with your haircut. You, I feel like you just made it like a slight face about it, because it's not waves. I mean, curls are cool too. Curls cool? Yeah. I guess it depends. Like I'm saying, like, you need a haircut, period. You got dreads, you got curls. It doesn't matter. I guess it's so curls cool. You guess? I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> That's all I wear. That's all you wear? Yeah. That's all the wear is just so grass. It's just like, wow. get your hair, yeah, basically. All natural. It's like a little thin. Thin? It's like a little thin. Capped out. Who capped out? It's not thin. It's like a little thin. Watch when it's curly, it's not gonna be thin. Maybe curly enough? Yeah, thanks. Oh. Oh. Addison. What you think of him? He's okay. You okay? Would you? All right. So you gave him a seven or an eight without yeah. seeing him. Would you give him after seeing him? Seven or an eight. Damn. So you just that spot on, huh? I guess he wasn't what I expected him to look like, though. What you expect him to look like? Um, if I'm being honest, I was thinking like worst case scenario. Are oh, you thought he's gonna be smacked? Yeah. I mean, not that I judge, you know. I no, I feel you gotta be I attracted to, to him. Some, I talked to some ugly dudes before, they turned out cool, but. What made you wanna to talk to an ugly dude? You know, the the myth. 
Like, oh, that. Ah, uh, dang. I heard that before. And it yeah. didn't, did it work out? Um, yeah. Nah, because you, you let an ugly dude think he got too much sauce. He started trying to drip on you and shit. That is true. He's like cheating or something. Damn. Yeah, so. Uh, she cool though. What'd you give her on the scale of one to ten? Like a uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half. I mean, I didn't fully see her stand up or nothing. I mean, she cool. You gonna take her on the date if you see her and she look cool? We go on the date, see how things go. All right, man. Shit, that's it. Go work your magic. Oh okay. bad. I'm gonna follow y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, man. That was it.